Hello students, today we are going to discuss job analysis and job description. I am Dr. P. M. Naushadali working as professor in the department of library and information science Aligarh Muslim University Aligarh. As you know the human resource is a most valuable asset of an organization. The human resource in a library that means we can say library staff is playing very important role for the for providing better and efficient service to its users. So, one of the important function of a manager is to provide and coordinate the human resources of an organization. So, there are various jobs associated with human resource management for example, for manpower planning job analysis, job description, recruitment, motivation, training, etc. In a small as well as large libraries, the librarian or the director of the library are the responsible for, for the staffing function. So, the job analysis is a part of staffing function of the, uh, of the organization. If the library is an organization, so the librarian has to look after how to recruit a staff and how to create the post and how to make advertise that post and select the best person for that particular post. So, this job analysis is a one the method which is being used for the systematic process of collecting the information on nature of a job, qualities and qualification required to a job, physical and mental capabilities to recur to a job, duties and responsibilities, physical and mental effort required to perform a job, necessary skills required to perform a job, working conditions and environment for a job. So, all these aspects which has to be covered in the job analysis. So, this job analysis contains a simple term called analysis which means a detailed study or examination of job in order to understand more about it. Therefore, job analysis is to understand more about a specific order in order to optimize it. So, job analysis is a systematic process of collecting complete information pertaining to a job. So, you can see this job analysis is the we are conducting a detailed analysis about a particular job, not for the, uh, the employee which you are going to appoint, we are emphasizing here for the job, the nature of a job, the conditions of a job and what the skill required for that particular job. An important concept of job analysis that the analysis conducted of the job, not the person. While job analysis data may be collected from incumbents through interviews or questionnaire. It is clear from that the job analysis emphasizing only for the job which is required uh, for that particular organizations. But to get to know about that particular uh, information about the particular job, 
that times the data may be collected from the incumbents uh, for as in the form of a questionnaire or an interview to get the job. But it will be emphasizing only for the job, nothing to do with the persons who, are, who is going to appoint it, that particular job. Job analysis covers assorted techniques of studying jobs for one or more of a variety of purposes. One of the purposes may be to describe the task done on the job and to estimate what abilities and personal qualities are required to those particular tasks. Let us see some definitions uh, on job analysis. In the words of Del Yoder, a job is a collection of duties, tasks and responsibilities which are assigned to an individual and which is different from other assignment. Edwin B. Flippo describes job analysis is the process of studying and collecting information relating to the operations and responsibilities of a specific job. Okay, clear? Everybody defining this is job analysis for a specific job, not for a particular employee or the person who is getting appointed to a particular job. According to John A. Shubin, job analysis is the methodical compilation and study of work data in order to define and characterize each occupation in such a manner to distinguish it from all others. The purpose of job analysis, you can see it is determining training needs. Job analysis can be used to the training needs assessment to identify or developing training content. Assessment test to measure effectiveness of training, equipment to be used in delivering the training methods of uh, various training that means for a small group computer based, video tra based training, classroom based training, virtual training etc. So, this job analysis will be helping us to what type of training is required for a person who is going to appoint that particular job. And Another aspect the job analysis will help us compensation that means uh, rewards or salary or other rewards which we have to be provided to the particular person who is getting appointed. Job analysis can be used in compensation to identify or determine skill levels, work environment that means what type of uh, uh, work conditions, environment he is having, hazardous environment or physical effort is required, what type of weather conditions he is working and uh, the responsibilities of the job is required as a supervising or academic or uh, as a tutorial responsibility or its required level of education, what type of uh, uh, related to the salary level of that particular job that will be mentioning in that job analysis. Job analysis will also help for selection procedures. Job analysis can be used in selection procedures to identify or develop job duties that should be included in advertisement of vacant positions, appropriate salary level for the position to help determine what salary should be offered to a candidate, minimum requirements as far as education and his experience is concerned for screening the applicants through selection test or the instrument which have been used for this uh, screening purpose like a written test, oral test, job simulations, inventories, etc., group discussions, psychological test. Another aspect of this selection process, job analysis will help for the applicant appraisal in the form of a evaluation. Job analysis can be used in performance review to identify or develop goals and objectives, performance standards, evaluation criteria, length of 
probationary periods duties to be violated <coughs> so these are the the need or the use of job evaluation what are the different methods of job analysis there are several methods of job analysis exist that may be used individually or in combination this include incumbent interviews conducting an interview of the incumbent that means uh, who is heading that particular organization sometimes the head is not available you can conduct an interview with the supervisor or we can have job analysis with the some sort of expert panels or you can collect data through structured questionnaire or we can develop a checklist with yes or no questions or we can have an open ended questionnaire which have been collected from incumbent or supervisor or experts or the data can be collected observing the activities of the organizations so this is what we calling as a job analysis once the job analysis is done the next duty of human resource manager is prepare a job description the job description the term it's indicate it's a describing it's a description is there job description is a broad statement of the purpose duties and responsibilities of a job position so it is a clear it is means it's a statement of the responsibilities job description is based on a detailed job analysis and usually summarizes the essential information gathered through job analysis they describe the main task and responsibilities of the job clearly and uh, consciously in order to fa facilitate the state systematic comparison of jobs for evaluation purposes the kind of information and the amount of detail contained in the job descriptions depend on the job evaluation plan to be used job description is an organized factual statement of job contents in the form of duties and responsibilities of a specific job the preparation of job description is very important before a vacancy is advertised it tells in brief the nature and type of job this type of document is descriptive in nature and it constitutes all those facts which are related to a job let us see some definition of job description according to edwin b flipo a job description is an organized factual statement of the duties and responsibilities of a specific job according to m w coming a job description is a broad statement of the purpose scope duties and responsibilities of a particular job almost same definitions both of them given in the words of gary dressler job description is a list of job duties responsibilities reporting relationships working conditions and supervisory responsibilities one product of the job analysis so it is very clear this is a product of the job analysis which is discussing all the detailed statement of the job related things the purpose of job description if you say it will help the supervisors in assigning the work to the subordinate so that he can guide and monitor their performance because every job description is written in the statement way it will help in recruitment and selection procedure it will assist in manpower planning to help performance appraisal it will help to job evaluation process in order to describe about right of remuneration for the specific job to help in chalking out training and development programs let us see what the uses of job description 
the major use of job description can be discussed now the one is supervisor employee communication the information contained in the job description outlines the work which the incumbent is expected to perform hence it is an extremely useful document for both the supervisor and the subordinate for the purpose of communication furthermore job description helps employees to understand just what work their associates are expected to perform thus facilitating integration of efforts at the work site by the employees themselves another use of job description is recruitment selection promotion as well as transfer information pertaining to the knowledge skills and abilities required to perform the work to an acceptable standard can be used as a sound basis on which to base standards or procedures for recruitment selection promotion and transfer job description will also use for performance appraisal to be sound and objective a performance appraisal system must be rooted in the work performed by the employees such work is indicated by the duties in the job description another use we can see manpower planning training and development these three processes are closely interrelated the job description showing in the specific terms the knowledge skill ability requirements for effective performance of the duties is a sound and rational basis for each of these processes analysis of various types of job at progressively more senior levels will indicate logical sources of supply for more senior post as part of manpower planning it will also indicate the gap to be bridged in terms of knowledge skill and ability thus providing a sound basis for preparing job related training and development program job description will also help for industry relations frequently issues arise in the industrial relations field which have their origin in maybe used to form a factual base that the work to be undertaken in this instance the job description is for discussion and problem resolution organization and procedure analysis the duties and responsibilities outlined in the job description may be used to great advantage by management by analyzing organization and procedures because they reveal how the work is organized how the procedure operates how the authority and responsibility are apportioned so another important aspect which we are going to discuss about job description is what will be the contents of the job description the content part is very important while you are describing the details of the job description the following content should be mentioned one is the title the title of the job designation of the job or the lo location in the concerned job should be mentioned in the job description another aspect we should be mentioned is the nature of duties and operations to be performed the in the particular job the nature of duties and operations to be performed in that job another heading you can see in the job description is the nature of authority responsibility relationship necessary qualifications that are required for a job will also be mentioned in the job description relationship of that job with other jobs is concern it has been included in the job description another important aspects we can see the provision of physical and working conditions or the work environment required in the performance of that particular job so this six concepts or 
this this six aspects should be available in the job descriptions all details of the that particular job will be described in a systematic manner so that there will be no confusion to the particular employer or the particular employee or the organizations let me conclude job description tries to determine what needs to be carried out in a specific job it explain what employees are supposed to do if shortlisted for that particular job it gives a clear cut idea to the recruiting staff that what kind of candidate is required by a particular department to do a particular task thank you thank you very much for your patience listener